guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that I'm going to call a variety pack because I'm going to do a really quick face of the day. I've got a small haul and I'm going to go ahead and do part one of my 2011 favorites. So since we're doing all of that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's start with my face of the day. Um, I just had to go run out real quick so it's not much. Um, face powder I have on... Sorry, my Milani Multitasker Face Powder. And this, I'm in shade 0510. Autofocus still not working. Uh, for blush, I'm actually using a bronzer. I've been liking this bronzer as just a really, really subtle blush. And it's the NYC Sun to Sun All Over Bronzing Powder in Terracotta Tan. And it looks like this. And I've been using this side over here. And it looks like that. Let's see if I can block some lighting. Yeah, you can see just a little bit, just for a little bit of a little flush of color on my cheeks. Um, on my eyes, my waterline I have on my Milani Liquify Eyeliner Pencil in black. That's in my waterline. My upper lash line, I'm doing kind of a dramatic wing dot liner and I'm using the new Maybelline Master Precise liner that with the one with the little bitty felt tip for my lips. I have my lips lined with L'Oreal Color Riche and Timeless Coral. It looks like that. And I have on the Revlon Lip Butter in Tutti Fruity. Really pretty orangey coral. More, more orange. And that's all I have on my face. That's my everyday face. And if you see me drinking, I'm drinking some delicious Texas sweet tea. Yum. Okay, let's move on to my quick haul. I went to CVS, and for some reason, my CVS had these marked down to a dollar fifty, and then I had, I think, six dollars in extra care bucks. Then I had another coupon or something, but I ended up paying 75 cents for all of these, and I'm about to show you. I got all of the Maybelline Eye Studio, the little, um, five, is there five in there? Yeah, they're quads with the little glitter thing. They look like this. You've seen tons of reviews, but I got all five. I, this one, before I drop it, is Caffeine Rush, and it's the pretty brown. This one's Forest Theory. It's a really pretty green. This one is Amethyst Ablaze. Gorgeous purples. This one's Pink Punch, which is pinks and like a pinks and mauve. And the last one is Blue Blowout. It looks like that. I got those. And I went to my Albertsons. There's an Albertsons by my uh, job. I'll try to. Sorry, I'm adjusting the camera. There's an the Albertsons by my job, and I, you know, just if I'm running early to work, which is hardly ever, but the other day I was, so I went and checked out the cosmetic aisle, and they had a, some select NYX eyeshadows for $1.99. And you guys know from my last haul that I'm in love with my NYX eyeshadows that I just recently got. So I got, I think, 12 more. I got one. This one is in black. It's just a black, matte black. This one is in Daffodil. It's a really pretty lavender. This one's in Cherry, which is cherry. It's red. Looks orange on the camera, but it's red. This one is in orange. And I will say I'm not too impressed with the pigmentation on this one. Maybe with the base it'll look better, but the, just the plain swatch of that one. Not, you know what? I am not happy right now because I feel like, there we go. I feel like I was like here. Anywho, there's, here's one in deep purple, which is just that a really nice deep purple. This one is in Hawaiian coffee, which is a really pretty chocolatey brown. This one is in Daisy, which is like a gold with chunky gold glitter in it. I don't know if you can see. You can kind of see the glitter. 
This one's another gold shade. This is in Ray. It's more of an orangey gold. This one's in Azure Sky, and I can't wait to do a look with this. I love blues, and this is gorgeous. This one's in Kryptonite, which is a like a charcoal color with really chunky silver glitter in it. Looks like that. This one's in Oro, and it is like a hmm, like a bronze. Looks like that. And the last one I got is irises. I think that's irises. Yeah, my autofocus isn't going to work, but I think this is ES111. And it looks like this. It's It looks like Azure Sky, but this one has shimmers in it. See? They look identical, but this one, irises, has shimmers. So, I got those 12 shadows, and they were $1.99 in my Albertson. And that's my haul, I think. Yeah, that's my haul. So, now we're going to start with my favorites of 2011. And let me just tell you first, I have these broken up into, these are face products. And face products consist of um, blush bronzers. Do I have any? I don't think I have any bronzers in there because I very seldomly wear bronzers. But blush, foundations, and powders, and like highlighting powders, setting powders, anything like that. And I have a few lip products. Like, yeah, a few. Like, two. Because I don't feel comfortable putting the lip butters in there because these just came out. And I can't really say they were a favorite of 2011 because they just came out. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'll start with the lip products. Hold on, I had to grab one. Mm. Yeah, I'll start with the lip products first because it's only two of them. One of my favorite chapsticks of all time is Soft Lips. Sorry, my husband just texted me. So I'm kind of mad at him right now, so I'm not gonna even going to text back. And anyway, soft lips, and this is the one in vanilla. It's just a clear chapstick. And sometimes, in when the winter starts, I switch over to Carmex. It's in my purse, I don't have it, but I switch over to Carmex because my lips kind of get really chapped. And so to keep them healthy, I use Carmex. But and I also love the L'Oreal Colorish La Glosses, and this one's in peach fuzz. I actually put this one on over. And I'll do a swatch of it. Ew. Hold on. Let me swish it around. It was nothing but juice coming out. There we go. It looks like that. It's really pretty orange. Coral. This is more coral than it is orange. And that's going to be it for my lip products. <laughs> These two right here. And like I said... If I had the lip butters longer, they would be included. So now let's move on to, um, I guess I can do remover. Uh, the e.l.f. makeup remover wipes have been my favorite thing of all time to remove my makeup. Just one wipe and I get everything off of my face. So these and these Almay oil-free makeup eraser sticks. They look like this. They look like Q-tips, and you see this little end. You break it, and it's got fluid in here, and it drips down to this end. And this is great for, like, say, for instance, um, I do in my cat eye, and I mess up. I can just take this and, sorry, I can just take this and kind of clean that edge up without having to use a whole makeup wipe. And so, love these. And let's do brushes, my favorite brushes. Um, hands down, one of my favorite brushes. And the ferrule is loose on this, but oh well, I have like six of them. The e.l.f. flat top powder brush. And sorry, all these brushes are dirty. I haven't cleaned my brushes. I normally clean them on Sundays, but my son was in the hospital on Sunday. So I didn't get a chance to. But the e.l.f. flat top powder brush. The e.l.f. 
um, and I use this to apply liquid foundation. And I have one for liquid foundation, and I have one that I use to apply my pressed powders. The e.l.f. angled contour brush, I use this under my eyes to apply my under eye concealer and my spot concealer whenever I do need it. My hands down favorite brush to apply liquid foundation is the Coastal Sense 518 brush, and it looks like this. And it's like a dual fiber, very dense, and you just really can buff in the foundation like really good. The um, I got this from one of those little. Oh, sorry, the TV. I was like, what the heck is that? Um, the little makeup mineral booth things in the mall. Um, this is a it's the company that in my mall is called Bella Terra. They I've seen them be called a couple of different things, but I it's the BB11 bronzer brush. It looks like this, and it's kind of like the big sister to the Elf Flat Top Powder Brush. And I use this today to apply my powder because, you know, it just really gets everywhere. I don't use it for bronzer. I use it for powder. This has been a favorite brush. And brushes that I use to apply, br brushes that I use to apply blush. Here we go. This is, I use stippling brushes, not any in particular. This is the BH Cosmetics stippling brush. And I like to just dip it in my blush and kind of stipple it on right here. And this brush right here came with the Sedona Lace Vortex collection that Makeup by Ren Ren came out with. Which, by the way, is an amazing brush set, especially for you aspiring artists because it comes with a brush belt. Sorry. All right, and this brush right here, I like this because I use it for three things: to contour when I do contour, blush, and a cheek highlight. This one brush gets all three things done. So these have been my favorite brushes of 2011. Now let's move to face product. These are not going to be in any particular order because I just have them in a little box like this. I'm just going to grab and go. Uh, blushes. Because I can see a couple of these on top. I think I'll be able to separate them. Let's see. Yeah. Blushes. Let's start with this one. The Black Radiance Artisan Baked Blush. And this one's in Warm Berry. And it's a gorgeous red blush. And it looks like that. It looks intimidating, but I promise you it's not. And it's right there. Once you blend it out, it's really a nice blush. The Milani Minerals Blush in Mai Tai. It's a beautiful matte coral. Oh, there we go. Beautiful matte coral peachy blush. Great. For, I like matte blushes when I have a lot going on on the eyes. I will do a matte blush just, you know, for a subtle pop of color. This blush is by MAC, and it's called Raisin. And it's a dirty, it looks all the way brown, but it's got tints of red in it. It's like a reddish brown, almost like a terracotta kind of color. And I use this sometimes for, well, sometimes for blush, but mostly I use this to contour with. Another matte blush that's been my favorite is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. And Mellow Wine looks like this. It's a really pretty pinky coral kind of color. And for Hello Shimmer, the Milani Baked Blushes. And uh, these are three of my favorites. This one right here in Red Vino. And Red Vino looks like that. Mm -mm. This one here, I usually use this as a highlight. This is Dolce Pink. I usually use it as a cheek highlight because it's really, really light. And this one's in Fantastical Mauve. It's a really deep color. So there are those three. And all these are filled with shimmer. So on a day like this that I have pretty much nothing on my eyes, I would do one of these. But I didn't today because I didn't want to. But those are that. Um, 
Now let's go, let's do this one real quick because it's the only one. For a cheek highlight, my hands down favorite thing has been the Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Br Bronzing Powder in Light Glow. It looks like this. And I don't know if you can see it, but it just gives just like the nicest little shimmer right there under your cheek. And it's a great cheek highlight. Now let's talk. To, oh, I have one more. This is a bronzer. And it's the Wet n Wild Studio, not Wet n Wild, Elf Studio Bronzer. And this one's in golden. And what I like to do is take all of them and swirl them together. And you get this kind of color right here. And it's great for a cheek highlight as well. Or I just take this one by itself and use it as a highlight. So that's that. And now let's move on to, first I'll do my liquid foundations. The Maybelline Fit Me foundation was excellent for me this year. And I'm in shade 350. I think, I don't think, oh yeah, 350 Caramel. That one, Revlon Color Stay, my ultimate favorite foundation. I mean, I've tried many and many of them compare, but none are just like it. Revlon Color Stay, and I'm in shade 400 Caramel. And my Dream Matte Mousse. And I was debating on including this because I had a bottle of this at the beginning of last year, January 2011. Um, we moved. It looks like this. And it's a mousse formula. We moved. I lost it. And I just recently repurchased it, I think, at the beginning of December. But prior to, like, January 2011, I used it a lot, so I decided to go ahead and include it. And this is in number two, Caramel. And it's the Dream Matte Mousse. And now let's go with setting powders. Uh, the Revlon Color Stay, which I do believe these are discontinued now, but the Revlon Color Stay Mineral Finishing Powder in Suntan Matte looks like this, and it's just a great finishing powder for me. The Milani Multitasker Face Powder. I showed this in my face of the day. 05 Tan. Excelente. Great. This Clean Color Foundation, I think it's broken. But this is... I knew it was broken, and I still decided to tilt it down to try to show you, and I just spilled it everywhere. Any Hoosers... The Clean Color Foundation, and I'm in shade Terracotta. You find these at your beauty supply stores, and they are $2.99. <sighs> Sorry. My Elf Complexion Perfection, and as you can see, I've hit pan on this. I have a lot of makeup, and I very seldomly hit pan on products, so I get very excited when I do. This, I just swirl all the colors together, set my foundation. And this, my Holy Grail setting powder that I love so dearly. Um, not quite as much as the Milani Multitasker, but a close second. And it's the Ruby Kisses HD Set and Forget powder. And this is in shade Earth. And see, it's kind of tinted. So it doesn't leave like an ashy film on my face. And I forgot to do primers. So... Time out just one second. Hello, my double chin. Okay, can't find it. So I'll tell you about it. First one is the Palladial Herbal Primer. Looks like this. You get it at Sally's Beauty. And my other favorite has been um, the... Rimmel London, the Fix and Perfect Primer, the not the first one, the number two, the one with the blue top, and the Black Radiance Complexion Perfection Shine Control Primer, and it comes in this black tube, and even though I do not have, I'm not oily at all, I'm kind of a combo, I can get oily, but it's not like really bad. I like to use this because it, I like a matte finish. I don't like dewy skin at all. I love a matte, truly matte finish. So I use this because it keeps me matte all day. 
and I just realized something. Um, no, I didn't. Time out. I'm all over the place. You know that guy? Let me, let me tell you. So, my son has RSV, which is a lung infection, and he has just been so sick, and it's really bothering me. It's getting to me. I'm not getting any sleep, and I did this video because talking to you guys makes me feel a lot better. It kind of brightens up my day a little bit, and my husband, who's being a D-bag right now, sorry if that offends anybody, but... I was I'm I'm needy right now and he left and went out to the bar with his friends so I'm kind of upset at him but any hoosers that's why if I seem all over the place because I got a tons of things going on in my life right now so anywho black radiance complexion perfection you can find black radiance at Walmart.